litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory, now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray, pray for us. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Let us stand and face towards the back of the church as we begin our Eucharistic celebration.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today, we gather together to herald with the whole Church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery, that is to say, of His Passion and Resurrection. For it is was to accomplish this mystery that He entered His own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation, following in his footsteps, so that being made by his grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in his resurrection and in his life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing, that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus and the disciples drew near Jerusalem and came, and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find an ass tethered and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them here to me. And if anyone should say anything to you, reply, the master has need of them. Then he will send them at once. This happens so that what had been spoken through the prophet might be fulfilled. Say to daughter Zion, behold your king comes to you meat and riding on an ass, and on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jerusalem, as, as Jesus had ordered them. They brought the ass and the colt, and laid their cloaks over them, and he sat upon them. The very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees, and threw them on the road. The crowds preceding him and those following kept crying out and saying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was shaken and asked, Who is this? And the crowds replied, This is Jesus the prophet, from Nazareth 
in Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, like the crowds who acclaim Jesus in Jerusalem, let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ, Amen. Let us raise and wave our palms for the entrance procession. pray. Almighty ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering 
and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? at me. They mock me with parted lips. They wag their heads. He relied on the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he loves him. Many dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers closes in upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. divided my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast lots. But you, O Lord, be not far from me. O my help, hasten to my aid. Proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give glory to him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God, something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name, the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Jesus was brought before the governor who questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said. You say so. And when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things? They are testifying against you. But he did not answer him one word, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now, on the occasion of the feast, the governor was accustomed to release to the crowd one prisoner whom they wished. And at that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had assembled, Pilate said to them, Which one do you want me to release to you, Barabbas or Jesus called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had handed him over. While he was still seated on the bench, his wife sent him a message, Have nothing to do with a righteous man. I suffered much in a dream today because of him. The chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas, but to destroy Jesus. The governor said to them in reply, Which of the two do you want me to release to you? They answered, Barabbas! Pilate said to them, then what shall I do with Jesus called Christ? They all said, Crucify him. But he said, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, Crucify him. When Pilate saw that he was not succeeding at all, but that a riot was breaking out instead. He took water and washed his hands in the sight of the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to it yourselves. And the whole people said in reply, Let his blood be on Then he released 
Barabbas to them. But after he had Jesus scourged, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloak about him. Weaving a crown out of thorns, they placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, They spot upon him and took the reed and kept striking him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him off to crucify him. As they were going out, they met a Cyrenian named Simon. This man they pressed into service to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he had tasted it, he refused to drink. After they had crucified him, they divided his garments by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And they placed over his head the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two bandits were crucified with him, one on his right and the other on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, So you are the Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him and said, He saved others, but he cannot save himself. So he is the king of Israel. Let's see him come down. Let's see him come down. down from the cross, and then we will believe in him. The bandits who were crucified with him also kept abusing him in the same way. From noon onward, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lema sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, He is invoking Elijah! Immediately, one of them ran to get a sponge. He soaked it in sour wine, and putting it on a reed, gave it to him to drink. But the rest said, To his 
But Jesus cried out again in a loud voice and gave up his spirit. Please, Please kneel. kneel. Please stand. And behold, the veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth quaked, rocks were split, tombs were opened, and the bodies of many saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming forth from their tombs after his resurrection, they entered the holy city and appeared to many. The centurion and the men with him, who were keeping watch over Jesus, feared greatly when they saw the earthquake and all that was happening, and they said, Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Pumapasok na po tayo sa mga sa Semana Santa. At sa pagdiriwang natin ngayong linggong ito ng linggo ng palaspas sa pagpapakasakit ng Panginoon, sinisimulan natin ang mga banal na araw na ito. We are now entering into Holy Week, the most solemn week for us Christians. And as we enter into Holy Week, let us try to see the characteristics of this week so that we may also it may also be our disposition as we reflect on the passion, death, and resurrection of our Lord. Nawa, mabaon ho natin yung mga katangian na yon at yun ang maging gabay natin ngayong Semana Santa. The first characteristic of this week is humility. Kapakumbabaan. This was the disposition of Jesus, a humble servant. In our second reading, St. Paul describes how Jesus humbled himself to the point of emptying himself and becoming like us in everything except sin. During the first part of the Mass, we heard that as Jesus entered Jerusalem, he did, not ride in on a, he did not ride on a horse, but rather he rode on a donkey, on a colt. Why? Because horses were used by soldiers. Horses were used for wars. The donkey, on the other hand, is a beast of burden. Kaya, yung pagsakay ng Panginoon sa asno at hindi sa kabayo ay palatandaan na siya'y lumalapit, siya'y dumadating hindi bilang isang mandirigma kundi isang abang lingkod. He did not come as a soldier but he came as a servant. The second characteristic of this week is Obedience. Pagsunod. Jesus did not come on his own. Rather, 
he submitted himself to the plans of the Father. He submitted himself so that what has been said through the prophets might be fulfilled. He was obedient even to the point of death, death on a cross. The third characteristic is that this week is full of love. Pwede nating sabihin tapos na ang love month. Pero itong linggong ito ay linggo ng pagmamahal, linggo ng pag-ibig. Kaya nga, ang tawag natin sa Semana Santa o ang tawag natin sa Holy Week sa Tagalog, hindi Semana Santa. Kasi Kastila iyon. Ang tawag natin sa mga araw na ito, mga mahal na araw. Dahil ang mga araw na ito, puno ng pagbamahal. Red is the color of love. Red is the color of blood. And love is the color of this week. The fourth characteristic of this week is that this week, this Holy Week, happened because of you, because of me, because of us. The passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus is not a senseless action. It is not a self, it is not a selfish action. But rather, it was a selfless action. It was not for himself. It was entirely for you. It was entirely for all of us. This week is a week displayed with humility and obedience. This week is colored with love. And this week is significant because of you, because of me, because of all, because of us. Hopefully, this is also the kind of disposition that we would have as we enter Holy Week. As we look upon Jesus who humbled himself, may it also be a reminder for us to learn how to be humble. In a world wherein power is displayed through pride and arrogance, let us remember that Jesus became triumphant not because of that power. He was triumphant because he was humble. Sa panahon ngayon na dapat laging nagmamataas, sana makita din natin yung kagandahan ng kapakumbabaan. Madalas gusto natin na tayo yung nasa taas dahil masarap naman ang pakiramdam kapag ikay may kapangyarihan, kapag ikay may posisyon, kapag ikay yung nasa taas. Pero tandaan din natin, kapag nasa taas na tayo, walang ibang pupuntahan kundi pababa. Pero kung tayo nagpapakababa, kung tayo nagpapakumbaba, wala na tayong ibang pwedeng puntahan, kundi pataas. Jesus was triumphant, not because of the glory, not because of the power, but because He was humble. When we are tempted to follow our own whims and capriches, let us look upon the obedience of Jesus. Jesus was triumphant, not because of his own will, but rather in obedience to the Father's will. Sino pa ho ba sa atin ang nauunawaan ng kahalagahan ng pagsunod? Minsan susunod lang tayo dahil may takot na pwedeng mangyari. Kapag sinabihan tayong kapag hindi ka sumunod at malilintik ka, yun ang nagtutulak sa atin para sumunod. Pero naunawaan pa ba natin kung ano ang tunay na kahulagan ng pagsunod mula sa ating kalooban? Sumusunod tayo hindi dahil sa takot. Sumusunod hindi dahil maaring may masamang mangyari. 
kundi sumusunod tayo dahil alam natin yung kahalagahan at kagandahan nito. Kung ang simpleng batas trapiko, hindi na natin na sinusunod, alam pa kaya natin kung papaano sumunod sa kalooban ng Diyos. Dahil kung marunong tayong sumunod, ibig sabihin, marunong din tayong magtiwala. When we forget our true nature as Christians, that our true nature is to love. Let us remember how Jesus poured so much love into this week, loving even to the point of death. Kaya pa ba nating magmahal na nagaalay ng ating buhay? O baka lagi lang nating hinahanap yung kilig? Kapag tinitigan ho natin yung krus, hindi ho tayo kikiligin dyan. Pero kapag tinitigan natin yung krus, alam natin matututo tayong magmahal. Lastly, whenever we are tempted to look only in ourselves, let us remember that everything Jesus did was not for Himself. It was always for others. It was always for you and me. It was always for all of us. This week is not described with selfishness. Rather, it is a week that is described with selflessness. As we learn the ways of Jesus, hopefully we will not just carry this disposition throughout this week, but rather every moment of our life. Because following Jesus is not just limited through our observance of the Holy Week. Itong mga araw na to, mapupuno ang mga simbahan. Itong mga araw na to, titingnan natin yung krus. Itong mga araw na ito, sasabihin natin na Kristiyano ako, sumusunod ako kay Jesus. Pero sana pagkatapos din ng linggong ito, mapupuno pa rin natin ang mga simbahan. Sana pagkatapos ng linggong ito, kaya pa rin natin sabihin, sumusunod ako kay Jesus. Sana pagkatapos itong linggong ito, masasabi natin na kung ano ang dinanas ni Jesus, yan din ang magiging buhay ko. Because as Christians, following Jesus will always be our lifestyle. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven, heaven and is seated, seated at the right, right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From, From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us invoke the perfect sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ, who was crucified and died and humbly beseech God to hear our prayer. For every intention, we will say, Lord, in your mercy, hear us. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. For the whole Christian people, that the palms may symbolize our commitment to follow Christ's example of offering himself on the cross, that we may learn likewise to offer our time, talent, and treasure to God and for the good of our brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. For the whole world, that all people may learn that selfishness and self-centeredness to lead to a dead end, 
and it is in sharing oneself and being oriented towards others that there can be lasting joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in, in your, your mercy, mercy, hear us. For the sick, the suffering, and the dying, that passion and the blood of Christ may bring them healing, peace, and new life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in, your in your mercy, mercy hear, us. hear us. For our community, that we may choose to walk with Christ and stay with Christ in prayer, stand at the foot of the cross, and so also share in the joy, salvation, and glory of Easter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your mercy, hear us. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. Loving God, you showed us the depth of your love in the sacrifice of Christ. Through your Son's offering, we lift up to you the prayer of your people. Make us one with him, so that we may follow him and share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that, so that though we do not merit it by our own deeds, yet by the sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed the Holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those who unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call. Through Christ our Lord. Ngayon po ang huling linggo ng ating mga Alay Kapwa Second Collection at ang ating Alay Kapwa Second Collection nung nakaraang linggo ay 47,036 pesos and 80 centavos para po sa buong para sa araw po ng linggo na iyon. Makikita po ninyo sa ating mga TV monitors ang breakdown ng ating mga Alay Kapwa Second Collection para sa nakaraang linggo. Itong second collection po na ito ay pinapadala natin sa Caritas Manila na siyang pong tumutulong at nagbibigay ayuda sa ating mga kapatid na nasasalanta ng mga kalamidad. Tayo po sa tayo, ang Caritas Manila po, tayo po na sa ating sa pamamagitan ng ating mga tulong ang siyang nangunguna sa gitna ng mga kalamidad na nararanasan ng ating mga kapatid sa iba't ibang dako ng bansa kapag sila po ay nasasalanta. Kaya maraming salamat po sa inyong patuloy na pagtulong at pagbigay sa ating Alay Kapwa Second Collection. Nakantayin po natin ang pananagutan habang ginagawa po natin ang collection na ito. Sa pasimula po ng ating mga mahal na araw, please follow our, our social media platforms for, so that you may be updated with our schedules for this Holy Week. At uh, patuloy po ang ating mga pagdiriwang kahit pagkatapos po ng Semana Santa dahil sa darating po pagkatapos po ng Semana Santa ay magkakaroon din po ng recent concert that will be performed by the Philippine Suzuki Youth Orchestra sa April 
sa ganap po na ikaanim ng gabi. At ang tickets po ay available po at pakifollow po ang ating mga social media pages para po sa ating sa karagdagang information. April 14 ay ang installation po ng ating bagong rektor, Monsignor Rodi de la Cruz, sa ganap na ikalabing dalawa at sampu ng tanghali. At sa gabi ay ang welcome mass ng relics po ni St. Therese of the Child Jesus. No, ang relics po na ito ay mananatili sa Manila Cathedral ng isang gabi, kaya sa mga nagnanais pong pumunta at uh, mag-venerate ng relic na ito ay maaari po kayong dumalo sa ating welcome mass sa gabi at hanggang kinabukasan po na farewell mass sa April 15. Magkita-kita po tayo at nawa sa mga susunod na araw na ito ay matulungan tayong mas mapabanal at mas mapalalim ang ating pagmamahal sa ating Panginoon. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look, we pray, O Lord, on this, your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.
Thank <laughs> you.